Minions The Rise of Gru is not a terrible film and I have to say that because I don't actually know how I feel about this. I'm a big fan of the Minions, I like the Despicable Me films, I do think as they've gone on they have lost their appeal or maybe it's just me getting older and changing, you know, having my tastes changed but I've always enjoyed them and this one I feel like is the weakest so far but it isn't terrible. It's not an awful film, I wasn't watching it feeling like I was bored but it wasn't as funny, it wasn't as quirky, but the concept I really liked. This was released this year, of course, and it's kind of Gru's origin story, if you like. We go back to when Gru was, I believe he was 11, and during careers day at school, he says that he wants to grow up to be a supervillain, and it's all about him trying to get involved with these six supervillains and learning the ropes and... That aspect of it I kind of like, but not as much as I expected. I thought Little Gru would be adorable, and I'd love seeing him being all young and cute. Um, and, you know, you wouldn't expect a child who's trying to be a villain to be cute, but actually he is quite adorable. But it just wasn't as fun or as exciting as I expected or as I'd hoped. The minions, uh, Kevin Stewart and Bob, are, and all of the other minions, but the main minions are quite cute. Um... But again, they're not as funny as they have been, and I don't think they were as entertaining as they have been. So is it fair that this film is being judged in line with other Minions films? Well, yes, because... Well, because I know that it can do a better job, but it wasn't terrible, as I said, and I'm going to keep repeating that because I don't at any point feel like it's a bad film. I just feel like it's lacking that something that makes the Minions films and the Despicable Me films cute, funny, entertaining, quite different. So the narrative itself I thought was fascinating and I kind of enjoy the fact that I now have this more, this deeper understanding of Gru's backstory and what he was like as a child and where he has come from. And I kind of, I'm glad I've seen it as a result of that because it means that when I watch the other Minions or Despicable Me films again, I'll have this context to draw on and it may enhance or change those experiences. But I just think the narrative could have been a bit tighter, it could have flowed a bit better, it could have been a lot funnier for sure. The characters in it, interesting enough. And the animation, usual high quality, I thought the soundtrack was particularly good. And we have the usual brilliant voice cast with Steve Carell as Gru and Pierre Coffin as the Minions. And a whole host of other fabulous names, the voice cast for this is obviously incredible. So it's not a bad film, I'm going to keep reiterating that, but I don't think it's as good as any of the others. I'd say it's certainly one of the weakest. I know some of the more recent ones haven't been as popular, but I've kind of still enjoyed them, and I liked this well enough. I don't know if I'll ever watch it again. But if you're a fan of the Minions, or of the Despicable Me films, I'd say it's definitely worth a watch. And the fact that it now makes me want to go and watch the, the other films again to see how I view Gru can only be a good thing. So it's not perfect, but it's not terrible.